Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Vacuum R8 video today and today we're doing something we haven't done for a while actually which is unboxing a, a, a vacuum. Most of the videos that we've been showing have been ones that we have done prior 2023. So in fact this one is something that Carl's been wanting and I think we're going to post this one as the um, Easter special or something. So normally, as you know, Carl likes to quite often get something new and vacuum related at Easter because he doesn't really particularly enjoy Easter eggs. Now, Easter eggs are a lot cheaper, but it is something that he likes. Um, so today, this one, actually, Easter is about Jesus and stuff, but these days it's about chocolate and sweets. So this one, has got a what I would call a sweet name, and I do think it does resemble the actual um, brand of sweet. Now we've seen this one on on um, eBay. Um, we're out obviously unboxing it because what happens is you have 14 days normally to return something if it's not as as expected. So it's best, from my experience, it's best to actually get them open early and check them and then maybe put them back in their box and pretend that you're unboxing it but no we're going to do the unboxing today so this one is a being clear exclusive um it is a color that Cole actually hasn't got of this machine but well, he's not got any of these machines he's got one similar so and this one as well has a different motor setup to the normal ones so as you can already see Got some nice yellow tape on there. Looks quite nice. Get this one out. We'll obviously have to clean this one up a little bit and maybe do some uh, the cables or twisted. Yeah, we can sort that cable out. No, what we're gonna have. Yes. Yeah, so all these parts of this is quite easy because this this here is what they call the kettle plug. Um, you can buy these quite easily. Genuine ones. So this one is a B and Q exclusive. Uh, Bertie, I can remember Kyle dragging me up being killed so I'm looking at the mowers and stuff he, when he was very young and he was like dad dad no nah, don't pull it mate it's gonna make it worse dad dad get me the Bertie get me the Bertie and then obviously they stopped selling it I think it even went on sale so I think last time it was available I think it was for uh, 85 pound so we didn't pay £85 for this one, but by the time we bought all the bits to refurbish the thing, I think it's going to be more than £100 if, if, we, um, if we want the proper floor tool and everything. So this one is a pneumatic Bertie. Um, Halfords do like an orange base as well, but this is the b and I would call it the b exclusive. Um, so it's a PSP 200B2. Now this one here is 240 volts and it has a 780 watt motor in it, which I think we've never ever had a 780 watt motor. Um, it might resemble the old 800 watt motors they used to use. What motors can you see? I here? think that's a twin flow one. Is it a twin flow, is it? So he's going to have to have a little bit of a clean up inside. <laughs> yeah, we'll obviously have to cross that. Oof, yes. <laughs> yeah, so. It smells like dogs. It smells like dogs. Oh, we like dogs, don't we? Well, actually, we've got, like, say, I've got in the hallway, I've got a freaking another. Where did that one come from? I've got another one out there. We could just chuck in there for the minute. Hmm. What we're going to look at the day. Yeah, it's a little bit plastic. Does is it a conical holder? Yeah, swap it? to a different device now. So I'm using an iPad Pro M1 at the moment. So I've had this one for two years now. It's been excellent, actually. So it's better than a phone, I'd say, generally. A lot better than a phone. Um, so anyway, back to the video. This one has a 780 watt, and with a conical hose, it's going to have some suction on it on paper because normally they're 520, 520 watts in it. Did they do 560, didn't they? Maybe. I think they did, yeah. I think 580, 560. So the normal Henry is around 500. 
of that age. Um, get the age on this one. Quick look at this. So it's a 2014, week 47. So that one was built, I should imagine, pretty much the same time as your James. I don't think you've ever seen this James, but I think we've talked about this James. But he had, years ago, his very first, I would call Christmas vacuum was a James. I think I had to buy it about five days before Christmas. So I think this one is a 2014. The cable is shocking. We're not going to plug that in as it is at the moment. We're obviously going to have to untwizzle this. How? Um, very well. I'm used to I'm used to untwizzling Christmas lights, mate. So well, I'm going to just take a cable from another pneumatic. Right. Do you have a bit? So it has got the tool clip on the back, like my hattie. Uh, the floor head that should come with this one. This is quite an important one because they when they introduced the floor clip on the back, um, they had the older head on it. And then they change the motors and then they come out with these, oh, we'll call it the Visselwerk style, um, like sort of like Mila sort of style heads, aren't they, as we call them. But there are two, I think there's two or three variations. So the aim is, is we need to get, I think the 589 or 584 or something like that is the newer head that everybody hates. But you have to get the the older head. It's the A. I think it's from the um, the newer toolkit. Is the O, and we need the A1 stole head, as they call it. Um, so it's hard to explain. So we've looked at all this. Um, it's probably cheaper to get a whole set of tools for an uh, for an actual Henry and just take the head off, and it is to buy the head. And then you've got to buy the little tools with it and it'll have a nice new hose with it so i think that's could be the option but we're just hoping that they'll send us the older um stuff not not the old model which is the ones that um pneumatic currently sell so what we'll do now we'll get this one untwizzled a bit and we'll um the reason why they go like that is just the way they've stored it and, and it does happen um so we'll get this one untwizzled because you don't really want to plug in a cable like that on any twizzle because it doesn't it doesn't do it any good and, and, and they can short out i mean that we could untwizzle that and that could be a short there we can untwizzle that and that could be a short there so we just have to be very careful when we first switch it on so we're obviously going to prep the cable and make sure it's safe before we oh. switch it on but this is not obviously the full clean on it i've managed to sort the cable out a little bit better I've um, acquired a filter, temporary, um, while the weather's still dry outside, I'm going to wash it. I think it's quite windy today as well, and it's dry, so I'm gonna give it, it should be fairly dry. Inside needs a bit of a clean before we switch this thing on, but it's uh, getting there. We'll just give this a quick wipe, um, just to sort what it What we're gonna have to do just for this demo here, I've untwizzled it, it's still very manky in it. There's no point me getting a pack of weights on it. I'm better off just cleaning it and all this lot. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna just you give it a quick test run <coughs> about the filter because if I put a nice clean filter in it, it's gonna look dirty, it's gonna go dirty again. Don't tip it on the ground. It's got loads of fine dust in yeah, it. Yeah, I know. And that's just gonna go away. You'll be suffering the next couple of days with that, won't you? Why well, you just power off it then? So it's a light on. Yeah, fine. Sounds all right though, doesn't he? So there we have the first look of this Bertie. Um, obviously, I don't think they've shown pictures of it inside. What they always do. Um, they didn't even bother tipping it out, to be honest with you. And but they did kindly put give us a nice paper bag, which will obviously be used for DIY dust only. Um, so that's another paper bag for me. Brilliant. Um, you did see all the dust coming at the back of it. We're not really going to run it for it and do a proper demo of it because it's a waste of time. So what we'll do, we'll get this one cleaned up. Um, hopefully get some tools and that. Cable's not too bad. We'll see how we get on with the cable. Um, the cables will really be available 
the hose is not in too bad condition. Um, the cuff, it's got tape on it. We'll peel the tape off, see what it's hiding. It's probably got a, a, a split under there, I should imagine. Like they all do, but you can get them for about four, you know, for a fiver for that. But I mean, by the time you add a fiver of that and a fiver of something else, you may as well just go out and buy a whole set with it like, all on. Because the because the floor head is you're looking at about twenty five to thirty pound anyway. Um, you've got to get that right floor head. The problem is with those floor heads now is, as the other floor head is now obsolete, a lot of companies may advertise it as the older tool set and send you the new one. And uh, because I've already seen a set like that on eBay, obviously it didn't like the floor head with it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Vacuum Man eh? And do you think it looks like? the Bertie suite out of the liquid all sorts. I think it does because he has a sort of a hat. So I I'm, I'm, I'm reckon that maybe they named the machine after the suite, possibly. So it is a nice pumpkin orange, as they call it. Um, it's Is it rare? Well, it's, an, it's another machine that pneumatic made for a certain shop, um, like the Wendy, um like like the john lewis ones the john and the lewis bertie i think the john and lewis i think the john and lewis was at the same sort of time so they must have made a load of special editions for various companies um i think when you go to b&q now what they got now they got some really rubbish shop backs in there like really cheapy things in there now and they they're still selling henry they still selling henry but they're quite expensive, aren't they? I think they're better with the price. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Next time you see this one on the, the cleaning demo, we'll have a shout out for a load of tools. Or we might borrow a set, who knows? But um, we've pretty much got floor head, um, some poles. I think you can remember the video where I bought all those um, poles. Um, I think we're using those poles mainly for his um, pneumatic charles and um, the new in the box one which had a couple of bits missing so that's replenished that one now and uh, i'll see you again on another video happy easter and we will be getting this one going again we'll get it all nice and shiny back to the vacuum man eight star we'll put a proper bag in it we'll more likely strip the machine down as well and get rid of all that plastic dust in it as well because what happens is when you clean the bin and all that lot you, you for weeks you will still get stuff coming out of it and actually the first the best thing to do with them is to use them outside like cleaning your car and that for the first few goes just so it all passes out out of the machine so that's what we did with the um nqs from the car boot so from uh, last year and he's uh, running quite nice now he's he's all right inside the house so yeah what you say now mate uh, happy easter he's happy with this one he's been after a birdie for a long long time um, he's also got that castle top um, purple uh, Charles on it, not Charles, James on it, the uh, index one on it or something, exclusive as well, but we didn't have the poles on that one. So yeah, bye.